What's going on everybody? It's your boy Taikyo Kills and thank you for tuning in to today's video. Now before we begin, I want you guys to sneak down to the like button, while it's asleep, tie it up, put headphones on it, and then make it to uh, listen to Coil Array songs on repeat. All right, tap that like button for me. So uh, we're gonna get into the new golf wing winner lineup and we're gonna discuss pricing and all that new stuff. So uh, we're gonna start with a lot of the pieces. Now I'm in the Reddit group. If you guys aren't in the golf wing Reddit group, you can go check that out. Uh, a lot of people off rip were just like pissed off immediately. What is that? What the fuck is that? Um, myself, I started wearing golf wing like fucking last year, so I'm relatively new, kind of, you can say, to the uh, clothing brand. You're a casual. <laughs> but a lot of people are irritated, man, and frustrated, and rightfully so, I'd say. The prices seem to keep increasing. Now, if you guys haven't, go ahead and watch my last video. Some of those prices in the last drop, I believe, were justified depending on what, like the mohair sweater. We know mohair is pretty freaking expensive to make, and it's a pretty great material. So that was understood, but, you know, I have my eyes really set on, uh, from this drop, the black golf wing leather full leather jacket. Uh, I was expecting 250. That's still too high for me, uh, but for full leather, I understood and I was willing to pay the 250. And then I seen that quilt in front and I was like, hell no. But then also I saw the price and it was 300 bucks and I'm like, what the f is going on? You know what I'm saying? Uh, it just seems like the prices keep increasing. Now, I was disappointed by this job. I'm not, I don't know about you all, but I haven't really seen anything that stood, I didn't really see anything that stood out to me. The puffer jacket was pretty cool. Cool, but uh, not $300, $350, I think. Yeah, it wasn't $350 cool. I understand it's got down and all that inside, but it's not $350 cool to me. Uh, the duffel bags were pretty decent. And uh, I'm definitely waiting for that Lafleur job, hoping we get some trunks in the house because I'm willing to pay and spend for a trunk, you know what I'm saying? But not the duffel bags. But that was a piece that I was kind of like, huh, okay. A lot of people, I guess, like the face sweaters. I didn't too much care for on the face design. Uh, but yeah, overall, I wasn't impressed. Now, we're gonna get off into another topic um, that, you know, I can't 100% confirm or deny, but if this is true, it's, you know, the golf is definitely gonna lose some respect for me, not that it fucking matters, I'm, I'm one customer, you know. Oh, Taiko Kills isn't gonna buy any more clothes from us. Whatever are we gonna do? <laughs> but uh, allegedly, and I say allegedly because I have no proof and I'm not the one accusing. I'll drop some pics in here. Golf Wing stole several designs, and I say stole because apparently the artists, one of the or two of the artists, weren't compensated for this. Uh, and I'll post uh, post those pictures in there. It's the Comet Golf uh, design, the Varsity uh, Golf Jacket with the, you know, designs going down, says golf wing, and it's got various letters. Uh, and I believe there was one more, the Keep Trucking or America, some kind of logo thing. I'll post it there. I don't know the name of it by heart. But, so apparently though, a lot of people weren't too upset about the trucking one because, you know, this isn't anything new with golf taking an already existing kind of logo uh, and kind of putting their spin on it. But for more so for the varsity jacket and the freaking golf comment thing, uh, it's a pretty big deal. Now this artist, he's on Instagram and I'll, you know, put him on, uh, tag him in. And allegedly, too, some people say this guy also doesn't pay for his, so whatever, you know, they feel like golf's justified. But I feel like for a big brand like that, if you're taking from a little guy and not even compensating them, that's kind of whack. But there is some kind of agreement there, I don't know. Uh, but I think it's pretty, even if you are compensating, it's lazy. Um, you guys are charging an arm and a leg for certain clothes, man. If, and if you're going to do that and try to justify it, at least put some thought into it, you know. The Comet G is pretty lazy to me. Um, I wasn't really feeling the brown pants either. 
Um, so yeah, I think we could have did better. I think the pricing is getting outrageous. I've seen people talking about getting ready to boycott. I'm not so sure. And again, this is all allegedly, so you know, I can't say for a fact. But a lot of uh, long-time golf wing uh, wearers are, are really pissed about this. And like I said, I'm, I'm a noob. You know, I just got into the golf wing uh, last year. But, you know, I'm pretty disappointed myself just seeing from the quality it's been from the year. Now, we're still waiting for golf LaFleur. We all know Tyler said, you know what I'm saying, new LaFleur season, summertime, look like private school. But, bro, it's winter time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, how long can we wait? We want the Ushankas. We want, you know, we see you rocking them at the show, Tyler. We want LaFleur. We want it. We know it's going to cost an arm and a leg. And that's another thing that scares me, guys. Like, if you're, we're seeing these golf wing prices, we know how Tyler, what Tyler said. I think he pretty much said golf wing is like fucking the standing in front of the liquor store with the homie clothes and golf the floor is like the Jets here. You know what I'm saying? So we know it's going to cost, but we were expecting like double the freaking price from like maybe Golf Wing last year or that. If we're talking double the price of Golf Wing winter, come on, man. I, I don't know. But anyway, I did purchase some things from this drop. I got the Golf Wing Good Pants, green and brown. So I do have those two coming. Uh, other than that, I, like I said, I wasn't impressed, guys and gals. Sorry. Uh, so that's all I got from the drop. And I was really skeptical about that. But I love me some twill pants, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, yeah, once I get those in, I'll definitely update. Uh, let you guys know how they fit. Do a try on and all that. So, yeah, guys. Uh, pretty much a short, quick, I guess short, quick and to the point vid. I try to make it. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. Uh, Taikyo Kills. All my links are all the same. Taikyo Kills for every uh, freaking social media you can think of, all right? So Taikyo Kills has been real. I'll catch you guys next time. I'm out.